Okay, Jim, just a quick little uh, video recap from your evaluation, mate. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, t we you know during the during the time we spent together, we we talked about a lot of stuff, right? We went pretty in depth about the things that we that we um, that we need to work on. Um, you know, we talked about how much you play, talked about what you want to do in the future, that sort of stuff, right? So, um, you know, the thing that what I was observing was um, a shot pattern which mainly faded, right? Which mainly had that. I'll do this in green. Which mainly had that kind of shape on it, um, and also a lot of clean shots, a lot of thin shots, right? Um, so, so you know, if we're going to diagnose that to start with, if we look at how your club's coming into the ball, well, you can see how that club and the club head are just slightly above the top red line, and and you know the best way of thinking about it would be those two red lines, one's going through the club, one's going up through your elbow, um, and you know if we kind of call that the slot, if you like, between those two red lines, the pros, um, generally speaking, um, do a really good job of going up and coming down between those two red lines, whereas you're coming down just a little above it, right, so you're just a little above the plane, um, and the club face is a little open as well, coming into impact, right, so the club face is just a little, a little open there, okay, so, um, but what I really like about your, your finish position is where the club comes out, it comes out coming underneath your left shoulder, um, but as you're doing it, this right foot still, uh, you know, your heel's only just off the ground. And with that much turn, you turn very, you turn quite well there with your hips. Um, you know, that's that's not a good position to have that much turn and still have the right foot so close to the ground there. That, that's 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 not going to do you any um, that's not going to do you any favors with regards to uh, uh, an injury prevention point of view right so as you're coming through here you know we want our hips the center of our hips to be over our front foot so we want the center of your hips to be over here somewhere right so um just get rid of those lines right so that's the so 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 we need to work on a couple of things that's what i'm saying we need to work on a little bit on path right so we need to get that club attacking the ball a little bit more from the inside um, and we need to work on low point right so low point just means we need to we need to get your hips more over your left foot at impact right we need to get on get on our left leg get over our left foot and balance on our left leg whilst we're hitting the ball um, but also as we're finishing as well you can see how this right this right foot still um, there's a lot, still a lot of weight, still a lot of pressure on that back foot, right? And you can see where your right pocket is. There, we need that right pocket moving a lot more forward over your uh, over your left foot. Okay, so so basically everything we talked about um, is going to revolve around two things, and certainly the lessons that we're going to do in the in you know moving forward are going to revolve around around two things. We're going to basically make sure the low point is better right the low point just means where the club is bottoming out right um we want we want the club to still be traveling down at impact so the low point has to be past the ball um and the way that we do that is by making sure our hands are forward but also our weights forward right i want the center of your hips about there not back here in the middle okay um and the way that we're going to change the path is we're going to um first of all you know we got we got you set up a little bit better well i'll show you that in a second um but you can see as you go back um you know kind of kind of pick it up a little bit without without turning properly right um so you know a lot of movement to the right with the head a lot of movement to the right with the hips right so i think what i did was I said, well, you've got all that green space there, which is where you've moved your head. 
and you've got all that green space there which is where you've moved your hips away from that from that starting point right so we we just don't we just don't want to create that space um you know spoke a little bit about arm spoke a little bit about the right arm the right elbow here um, how you get to the top and those elbows are kind of coming apart we want to get to the top and feel as though your elbows are quite close together right um, so with regards to um, you know the few little drills that we did so we got you set up a little bit better right so so the feeling now is that your arms are just falling down from your shoulders that's the feeling uh, before let's get rid of those lines before you know your arms are just point you know reaching a little bit more um, there was just too much bend too much bend too much reach and too much bend in the knees wasn't there so just a little bit of knee flex right so kind of you so you maybe evenly distributed between your heels and the balls of your feet arms falling down from your shoulders that's it and then you know what 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 I, I spoke a little bit about your grip right um, but what we also said to help your grip was to just tuck that right arm under so that your elbow feels as though it's pointing down at your right hip right that's what we uh, that's the little drill I gave you in your setup and then as we start taking it away you can see what I'm doing with my see what I'm doing with my hand there I'm kind of pulling this right elbow this way because your right elbow is gonna wanna there you go you see how that right elbow kicks out there so straight away the elbows are really far apart in your old swing so all I'm doing here is I'm giving you the feeling of making a backswing where your elbows are still pretty close together now you look at this the position of that right arm there and you look at the position of that right arm right a little different so here your elbows pointing over here now your elbows pointing just down and behind you right so much better position there with your arm much better position with the shaft right so that was really good so that's what we change you know with the with the structure and the movement patterns going back um, and then that will give you a better chance of coming down getting the club coming down the slot now um, from face on this was your swing at the start of the session um, and yeah there you go so this was you doing just doing your little drills right so if we put some some lines there so let's stop you maybe just after impact maybe at p8 right p8 is when position 8 is when your arms parallel with the ground um, and then we'll stop you so I said well you know we know where we want to be I've just explained it just to make a tiny little backswing and then go through it there you go there you go right so the big difference is here and I'll do this in blue you can see how you've created space here now you've moved away from that that green line moving towards the target um, and your heels up off the ground before you were actually creating space that side of your hip so you weren't moving your hips towards the target enough right that's why they were staying back and this foot was staying on the ground it was very you know it would have felt very awkward with this one now the one on the right side you're actually getting used to balancing on your left foot that's really important um, and then this drill yeah this was the drill where I said well you know show me set up and then go straight into a follow through so we're talking about moving your hips forward and up hips moving forward and up and then just balance on that left foot there you go 
So heaps move forward and up. So if we just put some dots there, you can see how you're moving away from the back, the back green line, or your right hip, and then moving over the front one. There you go. So you look at that finish, and you look at that finish. They look a little different, eh? They look a little different. So the one on the right now looks more like a golfer, right? You got to make a swing and, and emulate that finish position. But all this stuff, all this stuff is the, is the stuff we're going to work on in the future weeks, Jim. Um, but in the meantime, just, you know, if you get out and practice, shorter, slower swings um, with a shorter club to make it easier for you. All right, mate. Uh, any questions, just shoot me over an email. Thanks, Jim.